Example, we are interested in finding the probability. What is the probability? Or basically, what is the area on the right? So find the area under the standard normal curve to the left side of Z. What is my Z? Z is given to me here. I didn't do any conversion. In this question, the author says, hey, your Z is 1.06. What is the probability? What is the area to the left side of Z? Okay. So in your view, what is a good lower bound on the left side of this Z value? This is my Z. And I want to know what is a good lower bound. A lower bound is a number in the far left of your Z. Very good. We have two options, 10 and negative 10. What is a good lower bound on the left side on Z? Very good. Okay. Very good. Let us start the class. Thank you. Let me show the result. Okay, everybody got the result. Yeah, that's correct. Beautiful. Thank you so much. So on the left-hand side of 1.06, a very good low bound is negative 10. All numbers on the left-hand side of 0 are negative numbers, all right? Okay, so let's take a look at our calculator. When we are using our calculator to find the probability or area, first, don't forget to reset your calculator. So click on second. Let me move this a little bit up here. Second, plus, and go to reset. Reset all round. And don't forget to reset the defaults. So second plus, and reset the defaults. And here we go. Very good. What is the area? What is the probability to the left? So I need to shade left-hand side of 1.06. This is my Z value. I want to know what is this area? What is this probability? So mathematically speaking, I can write it this way. I can say that, hey, what is the probability that Z is less than 1.06? Very good. On the left, less than. So in this case, we're going to go to second bars. So second bars, right? Then you're going to find the normal cumulative density function, normal CDF. Remember that we are not working with binomial anymore. We move to a new distribution, normal CDF. In the normal CDF, we have some values to enter. It says, hey, what is your lower limit? What is your upper limit? What is the mean? What is the standard deviation? The lower limit by default is a very small value, negative one e to power 99, right? You can change this. You can change this to a very small number, like negative 10. But be careful, when you're using a negative sign, this is not subtraction. This is this negative sign down here. So I'll select this, negative 10. This is my lower bound. Lower bound, negative 10. What is my upper bound? Well, the value stops at 1.06. This is 1.06 here. Right, 1.06 is going to be your upper bound. This is my z score, z value given to me 1.06. And then, what is the mean? What is the standard deviation? Remember that for z score, mean is always zero and standard deviation is fixed one. So, we don't have to change these two values mean is zero and standard deviation or sigma is one. So, let's do the case and calculate this probability or area. This probability or this area is about, so we have an approximation. I'm going to take a look. You have 
0.85547. So we need to round this. So we're going to use rounding or approximating to 0.8554. Or in percentage, we have 85.54%. This is this area. That makes sense. The whole area is 100%. And this area, which is a big chunk of the area, is 85.54%.